is the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS Show with John Impemba and James Grande. What is going on, FA Nation? John Impemba here with James Grande. Welcome to the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS Playbook Preview Show. We are here for the Tuesday 11 game main slate. James, no Monday games here for the final regular season week of the NBA. Uh, which means only a, only a handful of live shows left shows left for me and you in general. Um, we are taking this show through the first round of the NBA playoffs, but uh, still, the days are numbered here for the regular season, which means for teams that have nothing left to play for, I have no idea what they're going to do, and neither do you. <laughs> Until uh, Even in-game, sometimes we don't know what they're going to do. Uh, teams that are competitive, a bit more clarity, uh, obviously, in terms of minutes and rotations here uh you're the guy that's handling this 11 game slate for the dfs playbook so you'll have all the answers when we go live at 5 p.m eastern time but for the sake of the preview show my friend uh are you ready you're ready for 11 game action here yeah all so we have all 20 teams that will be in the playoffs settled we just don't know where any of them other than the celtics and the eastern conference playing teams are gonna end so right um Still a lot to be sorted, uh, but that just says, like, you know, anything is possible during this last week of games, especially um, when you have the Pistons on a slate where they're potentially late-scratching players. You mm-hmm. have the Memphis Grizzlies on a slate with um, 15 players on injury on the injury report on a nightly basis. So it's going to be a fun last week. Uh, it's already started. Uh Memphis started a long time ago. Detroit <laughs> started about the fourth game of the year. So yeah. um, Memphis is mathematically eliminated, uh, you know, basically once John Moran came back and then left seven games later. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah listen, obviously this show is probably going to be a little bit quicker in, in these remaining shows for the preview show will be a little bit quicker uh, just because of the, a lot of the uncertainty. Uh, we'll have a lot more to talk about during the live shows at 5 p.m. Eastern. But, uh, you know, per usual, we will go position by position and kind of break all of this stuff down for all of you here. Um, this slate starts at 7 o'clock. It excludes the three 10 p.m. games. Uh, so at least for now, we have Dallas-Charlotte. Charlotte's getting 10.5 with a 220.5 game total. You have Detroit versus Philadelphia. Philadelphia giving 15, 220 total in that one. Indiana versus Toronto. Toronto getting 10, 240 total. Miami versus Atlanta. Atlanta getting 3.5, 223 there. Boston versus Milwaukee in the game that means nothing for to Boston. The Bucks are only getting two, 228 total there. Knicks Chicago, Chicago getting four, 213 total. Orlando Houston, Houston getting two at home, 213. San Antonio Memphis, Memphis getting three and a half, 215 total. Washington Minnesota, Minnesota giving 16 and a half, 221 and a half total on that one. Sacramento OKC, Thunder giving four, 228 total. The late game on the slate here, Denver, Utah, Utah getting 14 to 25 total in that one, James. Let's get into it. Point guard, Luca, SGA, DeJounte, Halliburton, Brunson, Fox. Those are your 9K and above guards. How are you prioritizing based on matchups, pricing, and how long we think they're going to play in these games? Um, Luca plays in blowouts typically. Um, and so I think we shouldn't be that, uh, unwilling to get to him. Uh, you wrote off the Hornets the other day. You said Orlando was going to kill him. Hornets outright beat Orlando. <laughs> um, and that was a full strength Orlando magic team. Um, so, uh, you know, Dallas is the fifth seed. They are two games behind the Clippers for four which is obviously matters because that yeah. right now is their home. That is their matchup, right? And they're currently on the road in that matchup. So um, I think we get full capacity, Luca, SGA. I don't think there's going to be any sort of limit, but you never know with Mark Dagnall. Right. Jalen Williams is questionable. So that's obviously a big deal for things if he's not limited at all. And, mm-hmm. and Williams doesn't play because then – you know, all systems go SGA, 1.7 fantasy points a minute. He'd be as good as anybody else on the right. slate. DeJounte, really, really tough matchup. Has been, you know, less than 
great lately, and I do think that correlates to, to them being more healthy than they were. Sure. It also doesn't hurt that he hasn't shot the ball well, but um, a lot of minutes, a lot of volume. Peripheral stats are fine if you want to get to DeJounte, but tough matchup. Jalen Brunson has been as good as anybody in the NBA of late, especially from a fantasy perspective. 60s in three straight, 43, 35, 35 actual in three straight. The minutes yeah. Jalen Brunson is something that you and I have talked about a lot. Well, that thrown out the window. Full capacity minutes for Jalen Brunson right now. Um, so everything is just – he just did this against Chicago. Yeah, It's not that surprising because Chicago is a bottom five defense in the NBA since the All-Star break. And they're, Chicago themselves also potentially without like their two best perimeter defenders, uh, both Caruso and Dasunmu are both listed questionable. So Brunson is as good on a per dollar basis as I think anybody else at point guard personally. Mm-hmm. And Fox has uh, been on a pretty good heater outside the Brooklyn game, which is what it is. Second, They yeah. got Brooklyn on the second leg of a back-to-back super shorthanded. Didn't really need to be good. And... So they move on. It is interesting to note Keegan Murray is questionable. I think Keegan Murray would play in this game because Sacramento currently in the eight seed, one yeah. game behind the six seed. So there's still a chance they get out of the play-in tournament. You just don't want to be in the play-in tournament right. when Golden State and the Lakers, like Pelicans, Kings, Lakers, Warriors. Good luck to those four teams. Like that is a bloodbath in itself. And then you have to, so they haven't <laughs> yeah, I mean, then you're going into a series against who? Timberwolves, Nuggets, Thunder? Like, forget it. So yeah. um, the Kings are going to play De'Aaron Fox max minute. So I, I think everyone in play, I would say Murray is my least favorite. I didn't yeah. mention Halliburton. Un- that was unintentional. Um, my eyes just went to Brunson. Yeah, Pacers a, a game behind Cleveland for the five, but also a game above Philly for the play-in. So. Yeah, and Philly has... Yeah, Philly has like the easiest schedule remaining. This walking season. through this right now, yeah, exactly. JoJo gave us the three quarter sixty the other day, so yes, he did. He's uh, he's back all the way back. Uh, funny Milwaukee getting three points at home against a Boston team that like has no reason to play anybody any minutes at all. Um, outside of maybe they want to, I don't know, put Milwaukee to the three seed. Like they're only a game up on Orlando, but. Dane is at 88. He's there, obviously. Max, 87. Uh, Green, a whole bunch of questionables. Like, what are you looking at when it comes to the mid-tier? It is interesting, um, Milwaukee getting points. um, Or giving points. Did you say giving points? No, they're getting three at home. I mean, Boston's... They are limited, guys. You and I talked about it on Friday's stream, and it worked to perfection. Um, Like... They just didn't play anybody really, mm-hmm. other than Pritchard and Hauser. And Hauser took seventeen yeah. shots and missed every single one of them. So, yeah, like, yeah, tied the, uh, tied the Celtics record for most shot attempts <laughs> with the misses or whatever it was. Yeah, I think he was uh, one one for seventeen, right? Tatum actually had the other. It was the other guy he tied. So Tatum has had a, had a game like that as well. But yeah, I saw the one for eighteen Sam Hauser <laughs> performance there on Friday. Uh, but yeah, we called it. That's what they're going to do. I, I'd be shocked if these guys play the second half of games, um, you know, quarters of games here. But Tatum not on the injury report for this. We'll, we'll see. Yep. Porzingis, Porzingis Horford on yep. the injury report for Boston. Um, yep. So I like I'm games, whatever here in tournaments, you can definitely get there. I, Tyrese Maxey has been on a crazy heater these last two games that he's needed to be. Like the Memphis game was that just for like that one was terrible from sure. the start for for Memphis uh, and the court, but uh, the two of the last yeah. three, 70 burgers for Tyrese Maxey. And now he gets Detroit. If Detroit can be at all competitive, obviously Maxey has a ceiling tough spot for Jalen green um, against Orlando Cade. I honestly, I don't care if Cade really plays only because he might get late scratched at this point. Yeah. Like it's yeah. a 7 PM game. And at seven Oh nine, we might find out that he's not playing. Right. So I, you just can't, I feel like you just can't get there. Um, Jamal Murray was kind of limited, kind of not. He wouldn't have probably played 30 minutes in that game against the Hawks. They just won by 30, and he never had to come back in. Um, Probably no need to get there at 8K. It's a great spot. And then I think their interest is a little bit higher on guys below, but I don't have a lot of interest in that, like, 8 to 7K tier overall. 
Okay. Yeah. I mean, obviously, obviously, I'm kind of in the same agreement with you. There's Giddy, obviously, with SGA back. But if the other guys are out, big minutes, 37 there, um, you know, against Charlotte the other day. Um, you know, Hero, 68, Ivy, 6K. Like, I don't know. Like, what's, do, you have, do you have a, a favorite of this group? Um, I would say if Kuzma is ruled out, who's questionable, it'd be Jordan Poole, because Jordan okay. Poole continues to just be the guy that I really needed him to be at the beginning half of the year when yeah. I took him on every best ball and fantasy team I had. Um, 40 plus in five straight games. So I, six of his last seven overall. I, so Jordan Poole, but obviously he's in a, in a brutal matchup. That would be it. Yeah, I'm in agreement with you. Value tier. Um, anybody 6K and under, that's an obvious play. You have the Memphis guys here, obviously, Charlotte, um, guards as well. Anybody sticking out to you, Boston, Sasser? Like, what are you thinking? Yeah, I mean, if um, Scotty Pippen is typically unowned of all the Memphis guys, yeah. and he's now gone 38, 37 fantasy points in back to back games, 29, 30 minutes. So, I'd be definitely interested there. Definitely interested in Goodwin. They they are they're starting them alongside one another, so no problems getting to either. Um, Michich has been pretty good as well. I mean, twenty eight fantasy points or more in six straight games, mm-hmm. almost four straight double, almost five straight, six straight double doubles. When you look like this is the guy that they that the Thunder acquired, thinking, right. "Wow, we have like probably the best backup point guard in the league." Well, he's now flourishing in Charlotte. Um, Sug, so, Jackson, definitely interested in Sasser if Cade sits. I'm definitely interested in Pritchard. He, again, I think you and I, like, kind of had the idea. They just play Peyton Pritchard, and they just play Sam Hauser. And when yeah. they're going to limit Tatum, Brown, and guys to, like, low 30s minutes, there's just obvious minutes to be picked up. And we haven't seen 10-man, 11-man rotations all year until now. Right. But Pritchard's minutes haven't been impacted, and Hauser's minutes haven't been impacted. So... I'm good with Pritchard 49. And then I think there's like obvious value down here. Xavier Simpson for Memphis, $4,100. Um, played 33 and 30 minutes. Memphis basically ruled everyone out again. Yep. 21 shots over the last two games. The difference of one game to another. He made a bunch of shots in one game, three threes, three free throws. It didn't make shots in the other game, but peripherally he's been really good. So 4,100 there. Um, I would be very interested in Devonte Graham. Uh, shout out to you, you because hey, that's like your favorite player of all time. Uh, random, we're just back, I guess, with the minutes twenty five and thirty five minutes and in back to back games. For Happy Devontae to see Graham. you. I'll tell you that much. Happy to they see already you. they already ruled out Keldon Johnson for this game, so they're gonna once again probably go like seven deep. Um, yeah, and and you know, he did benefit from like Champagne left last game a little bit. Champagne still played forty minutes, but he left yeah. a little bit. Uh, Keldon only played 23 minutes, but now those 23 minutes that Keldon played are no longer on the table, right? Yeah. So, uh, Devontae Graham, Dante Exum minutes all the way back 35, 33 minutes the last two games, 23, 27 fantasy points in each of those games. Yeah, I think um, we're starting to get like, yeah, like, like playoff ramp ups yep. for some of these guys, right? So, and then our boy Jalen Noel, John, uh, for Detroit, he's if, back. <laughs> if there's no Cade, I mean, you know, not like full end of season minutes that he should be getting, uh, but 20 minutes in back-to-back games, 20 and 22 fantasy points, kind of what Jalen Noel has always done. No. Yeah, dude, the guys in a bucket. That's why we were, we were excited when he signed with, um, what was it Memphis earlier this year? And then they just like, weren't playing him. We're like, you need scoring guys. Like, what are we, what are we doing? Um, all right, let's go to shooting yard again. Obviously there's a big slate. So a lot of players to talk about, uh, Edwards and Irving, your top two price guys, the mid tier we've discussed a lot of these been already, uh, but there's Sexton, DDV, Brendan Miller at $6,900, Ubre, Bogdan, Trent, you know, with no quickly uh, here. What are, what are your thoughts on the top half of shooting guard? I mean, Edwards just doesn't look good. I don't know if he's worn down. I don't know if he's hurt. This does feel like a game that he could, like, get right in. Sure. Um, he had 38 actual against them earlier in the year Washington just has no chance at defending him if he's like getting to the rim and making shots and stuff so Edwards is at least interesting um Kyrie obviously coming off the the monster game the other day that was a that was just a crazy game overall but um really good game for Kyrie against Houston 
And then I think it's just like a massive drop off. Uh, you could play DiVincenzo because the Bulls can't defend the three point line. Um, and we know obviously he takes nothing but threes. Brandon yeah. Miller, as you mentioned, minutes, you know, when everyone's healthy, apparently they play Brandon Miller all the minutes. I don't understand that, but 30 minutes when he has a team by himself, <laughs> go, mm-hmm. go figure, right? Um, right. But he, 30 fantasy points in five straight and like seven of eight overall. So that's fine. Uh, Hero is a little bit interesting if Terry Rozier were to sit. Rozier's listed questionable. Mm-hmm. And you've always talked about Hero. Like he does like plays. And, and two games in, we're at 31 minutes. They I'm need saying. they so they they need him to play these minutes because they just don't look good overall. Um, they'd had that win against Houston, but Houston's obviously faded. Dude, I don't, I don't know. Miami's like they're not the they're the eight seed. Don't, it looks don't, like don't even say it. Miami is still the team I'm like most afraid of in the playoffs. Nah, here's the, here's where I think is different. Like in years past, it's looked like Jimmy's been like the ramp up has like been been there. He just like doesn't look that good right now. And maybe look, you know, you and I have differencing opinions on Miami this year coming into the year. Yeah. Uh, I told you I didn't think they were make the playoffs and. You said that you, they were like your sleeper team on the Better Sports Betting Show. So we had we had a difference in opinions. Still my sleeper team. I still I, think that they're gonna go in there and make some noise. They will win their first round playoff matchup, and I am praying it is not against the Celtics. I think if it's the if they lose, there's just there's just no chance they beat the Celtics. I'm just saying it now. There there's just no chance. I don't care. This team is not what it was, and the Celtics are not what it was last year. Celtics now have Chris Epps for Sure. That is just such an X factor. Yeah. Um, anyways, I do think Tyler Hero is in play at 6,800 if there's no Rozier. Probably can't get there um, if Rozier's in. I, mm-hmm. I would feel the same way about Oubre if everyone's out. I know Embiid, Maxi, Harris, they're all listed questionable. Right. I assume they play because like they want to get out of the- out of the play-in tournament, but if they don't, and maybe their injuries are, or, or the management, they don't care about the play-in because they're like, oh, well, we were the two seed before the injury, so we'll right. just beat beat up on Chicago or um, Atlanta. Ubre would be fine if Cade sits. Ivy's been taking a boatload of shots and just being pretty good at fantasy basketball, which hey, he is. He is. Um, no, quickly. So Gary Trent is going to take 100 shots in this game. I know Barrett's back, but that doesn't stop Gary Trent. Uh, 40, 40 burgers in back-to-back games. Um, and then we get to, we get to some value. value. <laughs> hey, um, I, I got to ask you, are, are we shocked that um, Alki Flynn has since gone uh, 1 for 19? Dude, he went 0 for 12. <laughs> we had way too many comments in chat about, about him. And, and like, because I'm telling you, everybody too, again, not not to like pat ourselves on the back here, but like the pushback we were getting from people, like, what, no Flynn, what, no Flynn, we're like, guys, it's Malachi he's, Flynn. He's like, first, I get it, I get it. Salute, we salute to him and Corey Brewer and all yeah. like the random fifty bombs out there, but like, yeah. you know, it's you know, it's Malachi Flynn here, and we we yeah. we said play him if you want. He was not a guy that we were playing at that price point. We liked Peyton Pritchard. More at that same price. We're playing other guys. Man went out and shot out for 12. So, like, like salute to him. 12 shots. That's solid. Yeah. But that's not 50. Ain't <laughs> there. there. Um, would happily go back to Hauser. He also <laughs> just missed every shot he took, but 27 minutes in the second game there against yep. Portland. They're just going to run him out, him and Pritchard, yep. 27 to 30 minutes, maybe even more as this week wor- works its way. Yep. down the line here as well so happy you know he's got the forever green uh light to shoot you mentioned champagne yep. is down here playing the minutes, ball, are, the minutes are crazy minutes. the minutes are crazy and this was a guy remember earlier in the year we were like hey he's okay but like hey he doesn't really do a lot and now all of a sudden he's on the floor and he's giving you rebounds giving you assists he's giving you defense and he's scoring mm-hmm. the basketball so you know if you're gonna if you're gonna do everything we're gonna play you so yep, yep. uh what else are you looking at down here yeah, Champagne and Branham, both Spurs guys here, both firmly in play. Um, I'd be interested to see like what the OKC rotation is if Jalen Williams doesn't play because Gordon Hayward's also out. 
So does that mean they go back to like Wiggins starting um, alongside Giddy and Dort, and they go really mm-hmm. small because like you can against Sacramento. Keegan Murray's at the four, um, so maybe Isaiah Joe in tournaments he's fine. Uh, Whip yeah. in tournaments always he's like whatever. We talked about Dante Exum. Uh, Christian Brown continues to be extended. It's like very wishy washy production, but the minute. Mm-hmm to be there for christian brown this game is in utah like that's obviously a very appealing spot um this is where things get pretty gross timmy allen john he played 20 26 minutes for memphis the other day he scored four fantasy points but he's one of eight players and if he's gonna get anywhere 30 near 30 fantasy points like or 30 minutes rather than like thirty eight hundred dollars like he like he just like Tony Snelled. He took six shots. He took three threes. He just didn't make anything. So um, Timmy Allen is a little bit interesting. Davion Mitchell continues to be like one of the Kings. He is their primary bench player right now. Mm -hmm. Um, 25 minutes in four straight games, 22 plus fantasy points or 20 rather in four of his last five, 3,700. Like it's really not that bad of a play um, overall. And I think I had... No, that's it. Um, yeah. we just... Got a lot of players to talk about. and uh, We'll get official lineups. We'll get more injury news, obviously, throughout the day on Tuesday. And we'll have a lot of these updates uh, on the live show at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Moving over to small forward. Jason Tatum played 32 minutes in that game against Sacramento last time out there. Um, yeah, didn't play, on. obviously, against Portland. <laughs> but no okay. Out on Boston. Out on Boston. No offense to you. They're just we, – we said it. We – dude, they're – Missoula came out and said, "Like, yeah, we're gonna get got random guys rest. We're just gonna play them in spots." Like, I was gonna say, I thought what was perfect was that against that Sacramento team game, he left the like the all the bench guys out there. He's like, "Yeah, where can you get a practice like this?" Right. Literally, <laughs> literally being like, "Yeah, this is great. This is practice for us, right? Like, <laughs> we, we we can't simulate these scenarios, you know, in real game situations. So practice, right. you know, like." Um, uh, so yeah, obviously I'm, I'm in agreement with you, but him playing the 33 minutes, even though was still like, sure. why, why was he out there for 33 minutes? What, what's happening? Uh, DeRozan, I love, again, I, I think buckets is here. 50 fantasy points against Indiana. It's playoff Jimmy time. He's it older. Is. It's playoff Jimmy time, but he's not playoff 32. He's a year 31. older than he was last year when they upset the Bucks and the Celtics. In the Eastern Conference Finals. We, other Eastern than Le- playoffs. It's LeBron. Like, LeBron was standing. We've seen drop-offs happen from year over year. But he's not even dropping off. He's showing 21-5-5. Five and five. You just, like... He, no, he's, he's, had a fine, he's had a fine regular. He's got 40% from three this year. When know, he's not where I ever shot for three point as well. No, nah, he's had a he's had a fine regular season. I'm just not convinced. He's working on a 50, 40, 85 year. I know, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. No, that's crazy. Good for sure. Dude, I'm Jimmy. telling you, I'm telling you, they're gonna be healthy. They're gonna have Rozier, Hero, Bam. They're gonna they're gonna have Butler, and then they're gonna just rotate a bunch of random bigs, and they're all what Jovich is gonna have a 20 point game in the playoffs and <laughs> Caleb Martin's still around, getting ready to shoot threes. Like, don't sleep on the Heat, man. I'm he can't. You. Do, he yeah. can't. He can't have a twenty point. Uh, Jovic can't have a twenty point game in the playoffs if they don't make it out of the plan. Yeah, they're gonna make it out of the plan. I promise you that. Gonna, and I'm telling you, it's I hope actually that, a good I hope, spot. It's a good spot. I, just, I would. I just hope they play the, the two seed and not the one seed because it's gonna go seven. They're gonna they're gonna run a team to seven. Celtics, notwithstanding, they're just gonna do it. So no team has played the Celtics more in the playoffs than the Miami Heat have. Though that's a that's an actual fact. They face each other in the finals. Like what was it four out of the last six or so Eastern Conference finals? Different, like different that? teams. Different teams. Uh, I don't. I don't know, man. Different teams. I don't know. Um, all right. Anyways, I like Butler eighty one. His price has been eight k for a month. That's a good. It's a good price. Pretty good price. Uh, Siakam's there at AK, also a good spot against nobody on Toronto that's playing. Bridges is $7,800. Denny, 76. Hart, 71. Um, you know, the usual 7K suspects. Yeah, I think um, the two that stand out for me is Bridges, uh, still playing 40 plus every night. Shot attempts are there. When the peripheral numbers come, like there's big upside. And when he's making threes, there's like massive upside. 7,800 is a good price. And Denny Abdia, I, I know it's a really tough spot against Minnesota. 
Dude, he he broke the slate the other night. 30, yeah. 10, 5, 3, and 2. Um, almost had helped me get a takedown. So 41 minutes, 38. I mean, all the minutes. All he the- was a lottery pick two years ago, right? So it's I think we're on year four. Has it been that long? You're four now? I want to say that his career is a little bit longer than I think. Uh, well, than we lost the, time with COVID, right? So, you know, let's see. I, I Danny, say 21 draft? Let's see. Danny 2021? Yeah. 2021, I think. Um, You might be right. Hold on. Hold on. Danny. Uh, Do it like seventh? Draft. He was the ninth overall pick in the. <laughs> in the 2020 draft yeah 2020 21 yeah. that's why I th- yeah so like it's is been... it, this is this is his third year third yeah ah, fourth. no fourth this is fourth year fourth year fourth this is his the, fourth year. the development has been slow until now yeah yeah he's almost doubled his points per game total but they're actually playing him so that right helps. Yes. um i think he's good I, I like the play. Next year should be Same. fun for a very bad Wizards team. So, um, where are you going next? GG sixty five. Dude, he's been limited. They're like playing everyone else. Um, it it's was really fresh. Trouble, okay, he's been fine, but he's sixty five hundred now. I, I'm, I'm just like, they are clearly like, all right, we know that you're a player. Okay. We don't know anyone else who's a player. Like we don't sure. have like. Because if you think about it, everyone else that is on this roster that is like potentially going to be on their roster next year is not playing. Contra not playing, Bain not playing, Vince Williams not playing, Contra or uh, Kennard not playing, Jaron Jackson not playing, Brandon Clark is or Aldama not playing. Only reason Brandon Clark's playing because he hasn't played for like two years. So, um. Hmm. I, I'm I'm kind of passing on Gigi, even though he has team to himself. I just don't. I'm not confident he's going to play north of 30 minutes. Um, I would say OG is a little bit interesting. Fifty four hundred dollars. He had six blocks and steals against Milwaukee. Thirty eight minutes in that game. Fifty four hundred is a really good price. Two for ten. I mean, he took ten shots. He just didn't make anything. Um, maybe that's elbow related. Maybe it's not. But uh, if we're gonna get max minutes from og on anobi i have a little bit of interest okay and then you know it's just a bunch of like again players that we haven't talked about all year uh per uh malazinha pereira uh he's he's a kind of a core play for me he was like 50 60 percent rostered the other day yeah he Um, should i mean he's starting and playing all the minutes right yeah so he's Flirted with a double double, three straight games, playing twenty nine plus minutes. So uh, forty three hundred dollars is a really good price, dude. Aaron Wiggins broke the slate the other night. Uh, he was sub ten percent ownership when he was announced the starter. Forty three hundred. I would, I, I could see them going to Aaron Wiggins as a starter if there's no Jalen Williams. That has to be you know, obviously the case. But if Aaron Wiggins yeah. is in and Jer- uh, William, uh, Williams is out, that's a play. Dude, ex Celtic and ex Chicago now current Chicago Bull great Javante Green, yeah. um, has been hilarious in the last two games. I saw the Knicks game and I was like, "What <laughs> the world is going on?" <laughs> um, Twenty five and thirteen, like off the like out of nowhere, off the, like, off the bench. Yeah. Um, Caruso, Io, both questionable. He's gonna start. He started for Caruso the other day. Now he did lose some time, and we'll talk about two eight. We'll talk about to who in a moment uh, at the center position because that's been fun again. Yeah. But um, Javante Green, if guys are out, is just simply in play. Johnny Juzag, Juzag is apparently his the pr- uh, pronunciation. Thirty three and thirty two minutes the last two games for Juzag. Thirty five and twenty seven fantasy points. Thirty eight hundred dollars. It's a it's a good price. Good play. Yeah, I'm with you there. Uh, power forward. A lot of these guys we've talked about, obviously, but there is Giannis, there's Ben Caro, Kuzma's questionable. What do you, Barrett, Sarah at 77, Jalen Johnson, 74, Nas, 73. Where, where are you going here? Dude, Doc is so funny. He comes out and he's like, Giannis's minutes are going to be monitored for the rest of the year. 39 minutes against the Knicks. Yeah, they're monitored. Like... He didn't say they were limited. He said he just watched them. 
Watch them go up. It's it is funny though, dude. I I kind of didn't realize this. Did you look at two through seven in the East? So Milwaukee is currently the two seed at yep. 47 and 31. Philadelphia is 44 and 35, three and a half back of Milwaukee. Like if you want to like shrink that from two to five, it's a game and a half. Yep. The Orlando Magic, Orlando Magic, oh, are one game back of Milwaukee. All right. Giannis's minutes are not going to be mon- like like you said, Doc is Long just going to watch them. watching the minutes. Yeah, he's like uh now he has to play. There's obviously a, a real injury here um yeah. that he's monitoring, but if he's gonna play, he's going to play until either it's a blowout or whatever. And if that's the case, I'm always interested in Giannis. Um if he had a two game lead, I bet he would probably sit or be rested, but yes. it's a one game lead. It's so. one to dude. I mean, they realistically I mean that some of these losses that they've had the last few games have been atrocious. Like if they they could be the five seed. Yeah, they lost to Memphis by no, 10. I, dude. Here, here's their last four games. Ready? Four point loss to Washington. Yep. Ten point loss to uh, the Grizzlies. Six point loss to the Raptors. Uh, that was the game Giannis didn't play, and then thirteen point loss to the Knicks. Three of those teams are really bad. Mm-hmm. And then they got Jalen Brunson. Like they're one and seven over their last eight games, or one and one and six over the last eight. Like it's just they need the Giannis. So I'm good getting Giannis as long as we don't like hear Doc say the words. Well, even if he does say the words, like limit, he's probably not. Right. Gonna tell the truth. Yeah. No, I I, I hear you, man. Um, ben Caro's there, as I mentioned. Um, RJ Barrett, seventy seven. Yeah. Bancaro's interesting because Franz is questionable. Right. Um, and Isaac also questionable. Though. Yeah, I mean, they they are really shorthanded. Dude, they're one game away from the two seed. You don't think the Orlando Magic want to be the two seed? That's crazy. Good on, good on Orlando, right? They they drafted the number one pick. They got the pick right, right? Bancaro was definitely was the, was the right choice there. They have, they have made a really... They've had some good draft picks. Jalen yeah. Suggs, Bencaro, Franz, yeah. dude, yeah. traded for Wendell Car like traded for Wendell Carter. So Even Cole Anthony answer. has been great for them off the bench. Cole like, Anthony's been great off the bench. The Gary Harris signing for three and D. Like they they've they've obviously they have an identity, right? Like they have they the play slow, they play good yep. defense. <laughs> yep. They have a they have an identity. That's why like Nick's magic four five would be like a defensive a, a Fan of defense is like dream matchup, right? It's gonna be right. like 87, 83 for like six games of just like punch you in the mouth. Well, That's there was cool. a report that uh, Orlando would be like eyeing Clay Thompson in free agency because they need a shooter. And someone's like, Well, not if they've watched Clay Thompson play basketball this year, they won't be eyeing Clay Thompson. Hey, uh... Clay, Clay get Clay's Clay's heating up at the right time. I will say that he is getting he is making shots often. Um, yeah, I, I'm okay getting to Palo, especially if Franz is out at 84. Um, and you mentioned RJ Barrett, no quickly shorthanded team going to play max minutes. I f- does, does Barrett like have a ceiling or is it like he gets into the 40 fantasy point range? You're just like, nah, I got to stop here. <laughs> That's <laughs> like, I feel like it's like, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> scroll good? through it, dude. Like, I'm not saying he hasn't. I'm just saying, like, you scroll through his like entire season log, and I know, like, you got a he has one. Here. He has the one fifty burger, and then every other game, like, he's just like, oh no, I heard I have forty five fancy points. Can't, can't yeah. go any further. Possible. Uh, still pays it off at seventy seven. Yeah, he's still yeah, he's still fine. He's still good. Uh, Jalen Johnson seventy four. Okay, Nas is there. I don't know, Jabari, 63 in a tough spot, though. Denver guys, I guess, we're watching. What, what's your next, like, plug for power forward? Nas Reed coming off a of freaking behemoth. Um, and I think they need this Nas Reed, uh, especially, you know, um, like, I know Towns is expected to be back in the playoffs. What is Towns, like, what is his? They, so they said that they hope that he'll come back before the end of the regular season, which means what? We'll one see. game this week? Yeah, well, yeah. This, one, like... one game ramp to get him to twenty minutes, and then 
So they have hope they by have round four three, games. Playing thirty, like they have four games: Tuesday, okay. Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. That's their I mean, four game schedule. If they hope to get him in anywhere of game shape, right? He's got to get at least two of those, right? So he participated in a scrimmage on Sunday. Um, he will not play in Tuesday. So um, maybe he gets the last three games as a ramp. Maybe up? he gets the last three, last two. We'll see. Uh, either way, Nas Reed in this game, 35 right. minutes, 12 to 16, Washington matchup. It's dream spot for Nas, especially with Anthony Edwards struggling, dude. Like, Nas Reed's their second best offensive player. Um, could be number one on if on a night that Edwards struggles. So right. uh, Nas Reed for me would be the guy in that tier. Sure. Okay. Uh, working our way down 6K range and under. Uh, any obvious goes to you? We have a Grant Williams revenge game here. We also have a PJ Washington revenge game. PJ who has been PJ Washington has been amazing lately. Um, four straight games, thirty-four plus fantasy points. Shot attempts have been really solid. The three balls has been really solid. Um, so thirty-six plus minutes, thirty-four plus fantasy points, and four straight for PJ. They started Grant over Nick Richards the other day, and I th- I think they're going to continue with that lineup. Sure. He's been good, and he's been good. Yeah, I mean. He's been good for like an elongated stretch, 28 plus fantasy points in seven straight games. And his price is just like, I know it started in the fours, but it's not moving rapidly enough for what his production has been. So definitely have some interesting grant. Um, Also could get thrown out of the game. Wouldn't surprise me. Trash talking Luka Doncic. Yeah. yeah, Also could go very poorly for him. Uh, Tremezi Metu played 43 minutes the other day uh shout out tom thibodeau uh light there uh playing matthew 43 minutes but he did not miss a shot obviously like probably not gonna be that efficient again but um 43 minutes is 43 minutes uh mamu is going to play here once again mamu sits in this like 24 to 28 minute range he's been super productive he was not like great against philly he just didn't make shots he was good everywhere else one for six, still good enough in 24 minutes. Yeah. yeah um, so Mamu is perfectly fine. Uh, we talked about Pereira. He's going to be, you know, max minutes um, as much as he can. If Aaron Gordon sits, he was questionable. Peyton Watson was great the other day. You know, he is very up and down, but Peyton Watson is um, an elite defender with like some offensive skill. I would be okay getting to Watson if Gordon's out. Because I think, like, kind of in any scenario, blowout, he plays. Non blowout, he's, and Aaron Gordon's out. Like, he's in the rotation playing 20, mid 20s minutes. Yeah. So, 3,800 for Peyton Watson, I think, is more than okay. Bertans is going to play mid 20s minutes. Troy Brown has played uh, a bunch of minutes lately. Trey Lyles is a guy that, you know, of course, I clicked on him during the Knicks game. Not that the minutes were, not that the, the, yeah. we talked about him on that, that slate. Like, um, the minutes were great. He just didn't produce. And then he sure produced. Against point blood Brooklyn. against Brooklyn. He has a monster. Game. Yeah. So like you can definitely get to some Trey Lyles if you want. And um, Patrick Baldwin, if there's no Kuzma, he played 30, uh, 33 minutes, 16 and 11 for Patrick Baldwin, $3,400. So that would okay. be my last, uh, my last option. Center position. The Joker is 12, two Wemby's 11 K Sabonis 10, two. Dude, I am, I am playing Victor Wembanyama every slate. That has been the as honestly, it's been the case for me for like two mm-hmm. weeks now. I'm just playing him every slate. I I don't care. Like I, I I don't care. Nobody does this. Nobody can do this. He he. There's no reason the start of next year he's not priced with Luca. Like right off rip, right? Like right off rip. Him, Luca, Jokic. That's your pricing tier. Like every slate. Um, dude, he almost quintupled up, doubled here because he had nine turnovers too. Yeah. Um, it just is what it is. He's just the best fantasy asset outside of Luca, and he's almost two thousand dollars cheaper. So um, the number of times he's had like seven blocks, like, dude, it's crazy. It's crazy, dude. It, it is. It, it's 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 like just one of those things. How can you you can't like change your offensive habits right like mm-hmm. if you're Tyrese maxi what is it? you're just not going to the basket anymore right. you know like he scored 50 something points but he, it Jokic talked about it right Jokic said yeah he got me like five times 
but we won the game. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. He's gonna, but that's great for us if we use Wemby. So <laughs> I was gonna say, um, that's, yeah. that's great for us. So it's the answer for me is just rest of the season. Victor Wembanyama, don't care. Agreed. Um, all right. Well, let's just move into the mid tier then. What's your what's your go to uh, center? We got Kelly O at sixty seven. You mentioned Nas Reed already. Uh, Chet seventy one. Atlanta centers here with Capella Gafford at fifty nine. Like, where are you looking to go? Yeah, I like Olenek sixty seven with no quickly. I think the offense is going to flow through Kelly O a lot more here. Um, we know what the upside is. The minutes were great the other day. Uh, Darko playing his guys minutes again, which is uh, good to see because it's been a nightmare to figure out Toronto. So um, Kelly O, as long as he starts and, and plays, um, Gafford minutes kind of limited, but foul trouble kind of hindered that. He did get the 30 minutes against Golden State with no Luca. Hey, 15 rebounds again without Luca. Like, does that, you know? Uh, but Luca's back, so expect eight, seven, eight rebounds for yeah. Daniel Gaffer because that's the life that he lives. Um, Hartenstein still playing 29 to 30 minutes, and you would never know it by the price. He's been really good 34, 27, 33 fantasy points for Hartenstein. Um, even with the false reporting of Mitchell Robinson playing through stuff. Yeah. Um, they got fined, got fined yeah, on that. Still, still been the guy. Uh, but Andre Drummond has um, been Andre Drummond doing Andre Drummond things lately, John. Um, the fact that he's getting 20 minutes a game is something. Because it shows what the ceiling could be. Dude, him. this is a spot for that. No? Like, the Knicks are smaller. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, like... They play really slow. They have Josh Hart, who can't shoot right now because his elbow right. is hurting. He took two threes the other night, right? So Josh Hart, over the last four games, John, has taken two threes. You're, you're telling me Vooch couldn't chase Josh Hart out to the perimeter for a little bit? Right. And like, uh, and what is Chicago going to do if there's no Caruso, no Io? Like, Javante is going to start. Mm-hmm. Bro, they're gonna go. They're gonna play a lot of double big in that scenario. So, yep. I, I, I'm I'm interested in Drummond for tournaments. It's not like he's not my like number one center of the day. But you're not finding many centers at fifty two hundred dollars that have eighteen rebound upside. And no, for minutes. sure not. For sure not. For sure not. Uh, Brandon Clark got twenty three minutes the other day. Yep. yep. Um, he's five K. I mentioned it too. Um, we got the Wiseman spot start. Did nothing with it, dude. How do people know? Okay, this is and this is what I mean. I saw that I was uh, I had my uh, family movie night. Yeah. Like, oh shoot! Pivoting to Wiseman. Pivot to Wiseman. I look twenty percent roster. I'm like, is everyone sleeping? Did they think there was no late swap? Why is yeah. Wiseman twenty percent rostered against Memphis? He's starting, right? No Cade. It should have uh, been a Brooklyn. smash spot. <laughs> foul trouble or Brooklyn? Sorry, foul yeah. trouble. All night, foul, two fouls, third foul in like the first seconds he was on the floor, fourth foul the first like seconds he was on in the third. It's like, dude, how do people? How does eighty percent of the field know that James Wiseman? He's gonna bust. He's gonna bust. <laughs> like in a in a great like team like not teams himself, but like no Cade, no Dern, right? Like yeah. it's just um, Dern's off the injury report for now. Yeah. So um, hard hard to get there. Agreed. I agree with you. Um, anybody else for you down here? Any value centers? Yeah, Trey Jemison's going to start play thirty. We saw. Did we get a York seven start the other day? Yeah, he's yeah he's going to start again too. They're they're a nightmare. For stay away from Utah's best. Okay. Um, I think Jemison, Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde. No, forty two fantasy points looked like the best player in the world against Detroit next night. Uh, against Paul Reed and company, or well, Joel, but like. I was gonna say, I mean, Embiid was there for. Yeah, uh, no, I know nothing. Um, if Embiid does sit, dude, Paul Reed is he's a really good fantasy player for minute guy. Uh, he was really good against the Spurs the other night. He fouled out. I got him at low ownership. I went there. Um, so th that's an Embiid out thing. Um, but that is probably uh, all right. Let's um. Let's build a lineup here. You you mentioned plugging Wemby. Yes. Is that your number one? Yes. Okay. Let's plug Wemby. Okay. 
Uh, let's get some Memphis value. Pereira, 43. Insert next Memphis value. You can play them, any of them. Simpson, Jemison. Simpson's good. We get 61 here. Did you play uh, either of Pippen or Goodwin? We can. We can. I'm asking you. Or what's uh, the other side of that game? San Antonio, we got Wemby. I was going to say, let's go to Champagne. Champagne. Yeah, 46 for sure. Okay. Hell yeah, I love this. I love late season NBA. <laughs> All right. 6,500 remaining. Brunson? Brunson, okay. Brunson works. 92, that gives us 56 for a small forward. Oh, this is easy. Look at this. Well, oh, we're going to love this. this is easy. Build. Where are you going next? Um, well, let me see. We could do Pereira. Let's see if we can get a. Um, Are we doing Drummond here? We could, yeah. Drummond is a double center. Pereira. Grant, Grant Williams, power forward. You can play Pereira yeah. at small. Yeah. Pereira, and that gives us a 62 forward. 62 forward. We didn't talk about Keegan. He's um, PJ, 58. Yeah, yeah, works. We're going double revenge narrative against one another. Grant Williams, PJ Washington hated their, that. obviously hated their situations. Yeah, and that's with four hundred bucks left over. So if you want to mess around with the lineup, you certainly can. Of course, this is an example lineup for everybody. We'll have another example lineup built for the five p.m. Eastern live stream for all of you guys getting you ready uh, for the main slate. Uh, a lot of news still to come. Obviously, lineups and all that good stuff. James will have the playbook out. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss a show. If you play some MLB DFS, the MLB DFS shows at 4 p.m. Eastern. The NBA DFS is at 5 p.m. Eastern. So double dip your DFS slate previews here with us over at the Fantasy Alarm channel. For now, everybody, good luck with your research, and we'll catch you guys later.